Come on, 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 All right, let me put this back up. You guys, we're going to start off with the affirmation, okay? Um, I have kind of a specific message right here. What that, Spirit? We're going to try this one right here. We're going to do the High Priestess deck. And I think we're going to keep the Kipper. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, yep. All right, you guys, we're going to start off with... Turn it down a little bit more. I'm gonna start off with the affirmation, okay? I hope everybody's having a great, great weekend, you guys. Woo! I'm done with all the zodiac readings for September, okay? Um, y'all, the energy is on fire, okay? The energy is on fire. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, y'all go check out your zodiac sign reading for September if you haven't, you guys. I don't know what's it's a shift. I do know what's going on. There's a shift happening, okay? Spirit is taking out the trash, okay? Spring clean team in the fall time, the nightmare before Christmas type of energy. That's what it's what that's what's going on. I wonder why my camera looks so oh, probably because of this sage, huh? It looks so smoky in here. I've been burning the heck out of my sage, all right? Y'all, let me tell you, that last reading I did, Pisces, y'all, even if you don't have Pisces in your chart, y'all, go check out that reading, okay? Because, y'all, once I finished that reading, <laughs> I went in the bathroom, I did something, I came back. Man, um, how about my whole sage stick rolled off my little sage bowl, Okay which is a bowl. So if it rolled, it should have just rolled, you know, still in the bowl. Not a bowl, but a little, I don't know if y'all can see it. You know, it's got some height. You know, this say shouldn't have went nowhere. Okay, this is how I know somebody was mad about that Pisces reading, okay? Yeah. Somebody tried to set my stuff on fire. I'm finna show you, hold on. I'm finna show you. They tried to stop me from talking in the video. How about my notebook was sitting right here, okay? My notebook was sitting on the table, okay? Next thing you know, look at this, y'all. Do y'all see? My notebook got start catching fire, okay? My sage rolled out that bowl. Out the bowl, y'all. Like it got legs and walked away, okay? And rolled right onto my notebook and caught my notebook on fire, all right? Like my notebook still is charred. Where is it? Where is the other one? This one. I have, child, I, girl, look, girl, sis, whoever I'm talking to, yeah, I had to take my. <laughs> that's how I know them motherfuckers was mad. They was big mad about what I was saying, but that's how you know I was speaking the truth. Look at this, straight up, trying to burn my book up. Okay, I had to take these pages out. They set my shit on fire. That was mad. That witch mad, y'all. But guess what? She, she, you, how they say? What's that? Was it uh? Was it a Pepsi commercial? You got the right one, baby. Like that. <laughs> You got the right one. Yeah, because I'm chosen, baby, and I know I am. That's how I was able to bring the message. But that's okay. Y'all, check out that Pisces reading. Welcome to the channel if you're new, okay? Do hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Comment. I do talk back, okay? Share the video, all right? Help it circulate because this is what's going down in the town, okay? All right? These clowns is going, going down, okay? Let's get into it. So, as you know, I already have the sage burning for everybody. There you go. Get your sage vibes, okay? Um, usually I have Paul Santos, but I burnt those up. So you know what I'm gonna light, like? y'all. This is perfect, perfect for the reading. You guys, I have a Isis incense. Oh my god, they smell so good, y'all. Oh, they smell so good. Okay, so I'm gonna light that for us. All right, that'll bring us some good vibes. Okay. All right. I'm going to send y'all some. There's some Isis vibes for you guys, okay? Y'all, they smell so stinking good. Do you hear me? They stink so good, okay? How they say? <laughs> they stink so good, all right? Let me just tell you. So we're going to light those, but this is perfect because the reading that I'm doing right now, okay? Um, Spirit has been giving me a lot of downloads, you guys. I've been getting a lot of messages, okay? And these messages are about the truth. It's like, this is what the truth is. Like, we've been having it misconstrued out here um, all this time, okay? This stuff that's been going on, all right? 
Y'all, Spirit is trying to tell me to tell you guys, look, you guys have pressure points. You have, um, uh, what are they called? Pores, okay? Your pores are open. All, they can be open all over your body, especially when you're wet, okay? Uh, but... My reason for telling you this is put just like you would you put your um your your perfume on your hot spots like right here you know what I'm saying on your wrist you put it um uh wherever you have lymph nodes you know what I'm saying but I put it like here in my crease of my elbows behind my knees stuff like that in the bottom of your feet like that's where you guys need to start putting your sage oh and behind your ears okay that's where your pheromones are released from all right so this right here will keep you protected it's just another layer of protection for those of us that are out here um really warring okay as warriors of the light all right so anyway just a little little tidbit somebody needed to hear that okay and then of course you can put it on your third eye and your throat chakra for me since i'm using my voice to speak the truth i need to protect my throat you know what i'm saying and my third eye because man people just they just do too much especially in their low vibrational energy okay they need to sit down and heal themselves and then they'll feel a lot better okay they won't be out here doing this time for foolery all right <laughs> Like saying people's notebooks on fire with sage that I still don't understand. But anyway, that's okay. I already know. It's like when I break a nail, I'll be like, oh, okay, somebody was coming for me. But the most that they could do was break my nail. That lets me know right there the type of protection that I have. Do you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Just like that. I had enough sense to click in and be like, hmm, something ain't right. Let me walk over here to my table. And I see my damn notebook. It's, um, it's pages just, just say just burning through the notebook. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Okay. I just got up and walked to the bathroom. Okay. It's crazy. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, enough about that. Let's tap in and tune in. And then I will get to the message. We're going to start off with an affirmation. All beings of the greatest, highest white light, what message do you have for me to give to the collective, okay? You guys, this is going to be like a serious reading, um, even though I'm joking around and playing around. The information that I'm about to share with you is, is heavy, it's, it's, um, it's truth, okay? And uh, not a lot of people are going to like what I'm about to say. Um, and the ones that don't like it is because they haven't done the work on themselves, okay? They have not truly taken the time to go through the steps, and the work doesn't stop. The work is, it's never done. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's never done. Like, you do it all the time. You consistently do it. You live it. You breathe it. You speak it. Do you know what I'm saying? You become it. You know what I mean? You become the truth and the light. You become the work. All right? Stability is the affirmation that we have. Okay, collective? Now, let me get to it. So, tell you guys this is a small little story. Okay? So, I woke up this morning laughing so hard. I was like what let me tell you i can't remember what reading i did yesterday and i used the rainbow emoji okay it may have been a capricorn reading and i spoke about um uh, a contract change okay well how about when i <laughs> i woke up this morning i woke up out of a dream okay i dream all the time that's not exactly how i get my visions i get my visions through my third eye okay like i i meditate i pray and i ask for 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 insight okay understanding and understanding all right so uh, i woke up this morning out of a dream in my dream i only remember the last part of the dream there was a cake, okay? And the cake was had rainbow frosting on it, okay? <laughs> this I know. People is mad right now, but at the end of the day, boo, be mad at yourself, okay? Like, you can't, you, you I don't know what to say. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so. <laughs> they used to stop me from talking. Okay, so anyway, the cake, okay, it was a sheet cake, okay? Those of you who didn't have baby's birthday parties, you know what a sheet cake cake is, okay? Um, a down south thing right there. You, they, sheet cake, you get it from Walmart, you get it from um, Brookshire's, you get it from uh, uh, HEB, you can get a sheet cake anywhere, okay? So it's just a flat cake, okay? It's, uh, <laughs> it's a rectangle shaped cake, all right? Most of the time, yeah. Now, look, let me get to the point. So it had the rainbow on it. OK, and there was a person in the dream that was like, yeah, mm -hmm, you see this cake? Yeah. Uh, in the middle is a person. Yeah, that's the Antichrist. I was like, what? <laughs> but see, I've been under attack in my dreams as of lately anyway. Like I know when there's something going on in the spiritual in the spiritual realm. All right. So like I woke up and I fell out laughing because I think I mentioned like some about some spiritual babies. OK, or somebody having a new beginning, something like that in that Capricorn reading. Y'all and whoever saw that reading, they took it and ran with it. It came for me. OK, <laughs> probably the same person who tried to set my damn book on fire. 
<laughs> but look, I don't care about none of that, okay? I think it's quite hilarious and I have a lot of compassion for people. So at the end of the day, like I just turn and turn the other cheek. You know what I'm saying? Like what I mean, I don't know what, what do you what do you look what do you want from me? You know what I'm saying? I have nothing but love to give. You know, if you need to uh you need some guidance, you need some counseling, I'm available for that. Watch my videos. Oh, but you already watch all of them anyway. So I don't know. It's like, I don't know what's going on. It's like a love hate thing. Who sings that? Anyway, it's like a love hate thing. That's why I lay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let me get back to the, yeah. So this morning, okay, I woke up and I start laughing and I just knew immediately like somebody was bothered by what I said in that Capricorn reading. Cause now they tried to come for me. Okay. It was like a, a, a sh like shade. Okay. Type a little shade. Okay. I wish I had a fan darling. So I could just be like, <laughs> the shade, the shade of it all. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I go outside. Okay. Which I'm starting to do more of every day just to keep my energy grounded. Okay. So you're telling me to look. Okay. In the Bible featuring little Dirk. And Giveon, and it's by Drake. Y'all look up that song, you're gonna get a, a message, okay? Um, that's what all the zodiac signs everybody, every zodiac sign got that song, but they also got another song, okay, along with it. So, anyway, um, <laughs> so anyway, when I went outside, you know, to get grounded, soak up some sunlight, you know what I mean? Um, just kind of get in tune with Mother Nature, okay, Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, all right? So, I go out there, you know what I mean? I'm standing out there. And I'm just looking and I'm just, I'm just paying attention to, to what's like, what the air feels like. What's, what's it feeling like? What's the, the messages? Okay. So there was a, a weird stillness, but it was a, in a good way. Okay. It was kind of creepy, but in a good way, it was like, dang, it's real quiet out here. Like I didn't hear anything. And usually I, I live by a lot of trees. So there's like constantly like crickets and all the, you know, trees, creatures making their noise, squirrels, birds, everything. Right. Um, it was so quiet, y'all. It was so quiet. And I was like, mm, I took that as an omen. Okay. So what I, so after that, I'm standing there. Okay. And it's quiet and I do my thing or whatever. And I soak up my sunlight. And, um, the next thing you know, I see a dragonfly. Okay. And the dragonfly just flies over me just all nice and slow. And, you know, dragonflies, they, it's truth transcends illusion. Okay. Yesterday there was a huge storm like that came through here and it, it blew me inside from doing the Oracle reading for yesterday, but I came inside and finished it. Okay. Um, so anyway, no, it wasn't the Oracle reading. It was the, um, the Virgo, um, what to expect Virgo new moon reading. Okay. Something like that. Okay. So anyway, um, <laughs> so after that, a dog barked, the dog was like, Roo, Roo, like that. Right. So then after that, like, I'm just taking this all in. I'm just standing there and I'm just listening. Okay. And then I see a yellow butterfly, the yellow butterfly flies Behind, like on the other side of my fence, but I could see it was far and high, but it was on the other side of um, my yard. Okay. It wasn't in my yard, but then it like doubled back and like flew in my yard, came in my direction. It was like, mm -hmm, and then went on about its way. Okay. So I was like, okay. So then after that, I turn around and I go to walk in the house and then I hear the birds start chirping. Like they start singing. Okay. And then as soon as I went in, I looked at the clock and it was 5 11. Y'all, all of that is very synchronistic for me. Okay. Um, the other time, the other angel numbers, okay, because 511, I want y'all to look that up. I want you to look up 555 and I want you to look up 1022. Okay. Now you have um two other songs. You have three, three songs. You have Billie Jean by Michael Jackson, you have um Rock With You by Michael Jackson, and you have Diamonds by Rihanna, okay. So this is the message, okay? This is what Spirit's been sending me messages on, okay? So history is repeating itself, okay? It always has, it always does. This is nothing new, okay? Everybody knows this, all right? This is not, y'all, you, you went to school, you know, you lived, okay? You, you've been birthed, you've been born, you've been birthed it <laughs> to know that history repeats itself, okay? So it's, it's, it's constantly doing that, but there's an energy right now that's going on where history is about to repeat itself with the twins. Okay. The, uh, the chosen ones, the divine counterparts that have been in separation, the sleep pharaohs. Okay. They are, everybody's waking up at this time. Okay. 
those of you that are doing the work, those of you that have been on the right path. All right. Now, this is the the um, the familiar story. OK, uh, if you are not familiar with this story, I would advise you to do your your history on um, on on Egyptian royalty on Egyptian pharaohs, gods and goddesses. OK, now. If spirit, if, if the most high made us in his image, we must know that we are made in his image. That means that we are also gods and goddesses and kings and queens because he is that. And if we are made in his image, we are that. Okay. It's, 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 there was a misconception where it was like, nah, nah, you're made in his image, but only you're only the human form. Nah, boo, you are made in his image, period, point blank, end of discussion. Okay. Now. This story is a story about Isis and Osiris, okay? They were sister and brother. They were husband and wife. They were masculine and feminine, okay? This is all going to make sense in a minute, okay? Now, if that's the case, okay, that means that within Isis resided the masculine. Isis was the feminine energy, okay? But what she did was she balanced out her feminine and her masculine energy within her own self, which then allows her to awaken her masculine energy because it's balanced out. Okay. Y'all just stay with me. Okay. Stay with me. So rewind a little bit further. Osiris was murdered. Okay. At a young age. Okay. He was killed. All right. The only one that could raise him from the dead, Lazarus energy. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Okay was Isis herself, okay? So think about this. If Isis, who is a divine feminine, is the only one that can raise her divine masculine from the dead, now let's put it in these terms that we can understand here on earth, okay? If you are a divine feminine and you're woke, okay? You're not dead, you're woke, okay? In the spirit, you're woke, not like, oh, I'm here, I'm breathing this air, but your consciousness is awake, okay? If your consciousness is woke and you do the work on yourself and you balance out your feminine and your masculine energy, you're going to wake up your masculine energy, okay? Which is your counterpart, your divine soulmate, all right? When you wake up your divine soulmate, okay? Because he's asleep, he's dead, okay? Osiris died at a young age, okay? We're not going to go into the details of who killed Osiris and how he died. We're not going to go there right now, okay? This is just about this here story. So follow me, okay? Follow me. All right. This whole situation, it proves this right here. And this is where the divine masculines might get mad at me, but I don't care because I'm going to speak my truth. This truth is coming out. It's going to reveal itself soon anyway. Okay. Cause there's been a shift. All right. The divine feminine feminine is the dominant energy. Okay. She's the bringer of life. All right. Period. There's no man that can bring life. There's no masculine energy that can bring life without the divine feminine she's needed okay she's the divine feminine she's the dominant energy all right so being that she's the dominant energy that's why she was able to raise osiris from the dead that's why she was able to wake him up okay now this goes into the next part only a true divine feminine through doing the work on self balancing out her masculine and feminine energies within herself she's able to raise and name the divine masculine she's going to be able to raise and name him because she sees him within herself okay it's that mirror effect this is where the twins come in there's a mirror she finds her divine masculine within herself okay through doing the work through seeking after the most high the most high reveals to her through herself in balancing those energies, who her divine masculine is, and she's able to name him because at that point in time, something happens. He raises from the dead, literally. His coffin shakes, okay? At that moment that that happens, his name is revealed to the divine feminine. She's able to wake him up, okay? She's the bringer of life, okay? Now, <clears throat> Okay, this initiates the rebirth process because remember, Osiris was dead. Okay, but she has he has to go back through the birthing canal. Okay, and he has to rise up, he has to wake up and stand in his power on his own. It's like having a newborn baby, and that newborn baby has to learn how to crawl, 
First, they got to learn how to hold their head up. Okay, they be wobble head. You know, they got to get that strong neck first. They get that strong neck and then they learn how to crawl. Okay, they start rolling over. They learn how to crawl and then they start learning how to walk. And then for the end, they start learning how to run. Okay, those are the four energies. Page, knight, king, emperor. Okay, it's four parts to it. Bruh man, fifth flow. Okay, but it's only four floors. Okay, you have to master all the elements. Earth, wind, air, fire. Okay, y'all with me? I hope y'all with me because I'm, I'm giving y'all some. I'm trying to tell. I'm trying to tell y'all something. Let me tell you something. Okay, I'm trying to tell you something. Now, in order for it says so, rewind. Okay, you must be a true divine feminine to restore order. Okay, the divine feminine is the one that restores the order because she she does the work on herself. She restores herself. She balances herself out. It's that yin yang energy. Okay, when you accomplish the yin yang energy, okay, it doesn't mean that you're done growing. It doesn't mean that you're done learning lessons. It doesn't mean that you're done living. It means that you've unlocked some stuff. You've mastering. You're you're learning to master yourself. Okay, now. When you do, you do the work first. Okay. And you, you, spirit gives you like, boom, that's your divine fit, your divine masculine right there. Okay. Divine feminine. You see, he's woke. Now the coffin's been shook. Okay. Now when the coffin's been shook, okay, it's going to, it's going to be immediate resistance. Okay. Why? Because he, the divine masculine has to go through the birthing canal. He has to go through the initiation of rebirth, the process. Okay. He's got to go through the lessons, the challenges, everything that you went through divine feminine to find him in the first place within yourself. Okay. And to balance out the energy within yourself, everything that you went through, he's now got to go through. So this is going to cause a separation. This is where it's the runner chaser phase because the divine feminine is going to want to be the chaser at this point and the divine masculine is going to run because he don't know what the heck's going on because he's a newborn bae. Okay? He's a newborn fawn. He's a newborn lamb. Okay? All right? Now, he's going to be like, girl, what? <laughs> Who are you? Who am I? It's going to be real strange. A lot of different things are going to happen during this time. Okay? What makes it worse is when you have um, people and places and things, addictions and such like that, and crazy people fighting against the connection as well. Okay? It all makes it harder for that divine masculine to rise up, but he has to rise up in order for the, 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 the actual twin flame union soulmate connection to happen. Okay? It's already going to be a powerful connection when y'all, when you wake him up. When you wake him up, it's on. Okay? It's on, y'all. All right? Now, let me move on. Let me move on. So then the divine masculine starts doing the work. At this point, nothing can keep them apart. He's going to he's going to be um it's like a magnet. He's going to be attracted to her and he's not going to know why and she's going to be attracted to him and she's not going to why no no but that but that, 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 that she's not going to know why, okay? She's going to be come then the runner and he's going to be the chaser, but as soon as she turns around and runs in his direction, he's going to go in the opposite direction. This is going to be a pattern that the two will will they will go through this, okay? Until all the lessons are mastered until all four seasons which the divine feminine already mastered earth wind fire and air okay he's got uh, earth wind fire and water i'm earth wind fire and water let me clarify because i feel like i messed that up earlier earth wind air no earth air fire and water y'all know the dang signs y'all know <laughs> hear the message okay so he's got to do the same thing okay then on top of that if there's any karma to be paid okay if there are any dues to be paid because of his neglect of his divine feminine he's got to pay the piper first before he could come into her realm before he can come into her space before he can come back into her aura okay before he can come back into her heart even okay i'll take that back because he's gonna he's in her heart he's in there like they're they're twins they're connected okay um now let's move on yeah. So the pool is going to be really strong. Okay. But there's going to be a lot of resistance and it's going to come from all over people, family, friends, coworkers, the job, um, the congregations, church, uh, 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 social media, TV. Okay. There's going to be a lot of different stuff trying to cloud the air. It's going to get real, real like, um, uh claustrophobic in there okay because it's gonna be like wait a minute you know what i'm saying that's another thing that's gonna cause the resistance okay now let's let's get back into here now okay we got then okay now when they finally get over um each of them 
They got to still learn lessons because even in this process, when the divine masculine is doing the work, the divine feminine is still doing the work. <laughs> the work never stops. Okay. It never stops. All right. Now. Not if, if the divine feminine wants to continue to ascend, which that adds another layer. It makes it harder for the masculine as well, because just because he wasn't ready, he didn't know who he was. Doesn't mean the divine feminine forgot who she was. No, 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 boo. No, no. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Okay. The divine feminine is going to continue to climb to the top. She's going to continue to ascend with or without him because it's her destiny. It's her birthright. And because she knows who she is as a true divine feminine, she's not going to wait around. OK, she's going to continue to climb higher. Well, just remember, you going higher, divine feminine, your masculine. He's still trying to, you know, he trying to he's still trying to get it together. OK, <laughs> so it's like that layer two makes it harder for the twins to come together. OK, now. How do you become a true divine feminine? Someone's asking this. You must balance out both feminine and. And masculine energy within the self. Balance your shadow side. How do you do your shadow work? I'm going to give you one tip, okay, that worked for me, okay, I, that I did. I'm still doing, okay, I'm still doing because it never stops. It doesn't, it doesn't end. You just, you jump, you get in where you fit in and you take off. You just go, okay? You put your faith, you surrender, you move on, you move up, okay? That type of energy. Find out what your opposite sign is. Find out who your polar opposite is, okay? And you look at the bad qualities in that sign. Those are your Lilith. Those are going to be your, um, also look into your Lilith, okay? But your shadow, your 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 bad qualities, those are the ones you're going to need to work on. Those are, That's the battle of the ego that you're going to have to go through, okay? Because you're going to have to fight yourself. Yourself is your polar opposite, okay? Take it as it resonates, okay? Now, you got to balance that out, okay? Hence, why, this is this is what, what Spirit has told me, okay? Is that that's why the women pharaohs in Egypt were represented with masculine qualities, with beards, okay? It was because they were balanced, all right? In the spiritual realm, their masculine and their feminine qualities were balanced out. That's how they were able to be pharaohs, okay? They were balanced, okay? Remember this saying, okay, Spirit gave me this saying. It says, to whom much is given, much is tested, okay? Now, let's get into some uh, tarot. I'm going to pull from the High Priestess deck, okay? We're going to take a look and see what Spirit has, okay? I hope I haven't kept you guys too long. I only have a few minutes, so <clears throat> I'm only going to pull one or two of these, okay? And then we're going to move on. Spirit, what message, all beings of the greatest, highest white light, do you have for me to give to the collective, okay? What am I going to call this reading, y'all? I'm going to have to think of something to call this. Did I write it down already? I think I'm going to call it um, Diamonds Are Forever. Diamonds Are Forever. Okay. All right. What message? We'll wrap this up, Spirit. Thank you. Hopefully, I'll make it in time. But the camera says bye bye. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got two. What we got? River of blessing, releasing constraints. Okay. We have sacred breath and sound, life force communication. Okay. Let me just try to do this really quick, y'all. I hope the camera don't shut off. I'm going to try to hurry. Let me hurry. I'm going to just read the affirmations for these. River of blessings. We have angel number seven. No, 47 and 10. Okay. River of blessings. Affirmation. I release attachment. Attachments and restrictions. I am blessed and purified, ready to receive the ever expanding value flowing into my life. Okay. And then we have the sacred breath and sound. Okay, it says affirmation. I breathe deep, deeply and express myself. My sound and my breath are sacred to me. Okay. All right, you guys, what do we have on the bottom of the day? Bright heart, light, bright heart, light, open connections. Okay. All right. That's your message, you guys. I hope you guys got what you needed. Have a great night. Bye.